City police now trying to piece together the moments that led up to the shooting death of the father of Chiefs player James Winchester. A gunman shot and killed his dad, Michael Winchester, yesterday inside of a parking garage at Will Rogers Airport before taking his own life. The gunman used to work for Southwest Airlines before resigning last year. Michael Winchester also worked for the airline. We do not know if Mr. Winchester was the intended victim, but it is possible that the suspect acted in retaliation uh, against the circumstances leading up to his resignation. James Winchester is a long snapper for the Chiefs. Today, Chiefs head coach Andy Reid talked about this shooting and how the team is now trying to support Winchester. 41 Action News sports reporter D. Jackson is at Arrowhead with what Reid said. Well, it certainly has been an emotional week for the Chiefs and the Chiefs family for that matter. James Winchester's dad, Michael, being killed yesterday in Oklahoma City. It's given this team an opportunity to come together and grieve and they want the Winchester family to know they are there for whatever they need, but they're still giving the family their much needed privacy and space. Tragic, tragic incident um, and sick, to be honest with you. So, uh, but James is with his family now where he needs to be. And uh, when he comes back, he comes back. But right now, it's his time to, to be with his family. He's a man of faith, loves Jesus, dad did too. And um, you have to. Go back to faith. Are you feeling for him? You know, you're, you're, like I said, you, you don't always know what to do or say, but uh, I'm just trying to be there for him. Uh, you know, as he as he works through this, uh, you know, it's, it's hard. It's hard. Now, head coach Andy Reid has not ruled out the possibility that Winchester will return for Sunday's game against Tampa Bay. In the meantime, during practice, Travis Kelsey and Anthony Sherman will be participating in the long snapping duties. At Arrowhead, D. Jackson, 41 Action News.